Okay, let's look at the graph of uh, secant this time and some of its properties. So here's the graph of secant of x as we discovered in a previous video. And let's, uh, let's look at some uh, things. So on the unit circle, remember, we can see that is this uh, brown distance here. And notice that as we spin this, as we move this point x to the right, the um, terminal side is spinning around, and that's getting longer and longer and longer. Now when we switch over over here past pi over 2, the uh, little brown thing is going out to the left over there on the triangle, and so that gives us a negative value here, and it stays negative when we're down here in this quadrant. But then, uh, but then when we switch back up to the fourth quadrant in the unit circle picture, which are x is, for example, in here, then we're back positive again. So you can see that going on. Notice that the secant is exactly, um, well, it's, it's in pieces, and it is undefined at any time that the, well, the secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so let's put cosine there with it. And I think this picture here is the way I think of secant. I always think of it with the cosine graph. Because I have the cosine graph down first, and then I understand how it works and, and, and so forth. And then I just remember that secant is the reciprocal of that. So notice, any time that the cosine is either 1 or negative 1, the secant will be the same. And so this minimum on the secant will match up with the maxima on the uh, cosine, and vice versa, the minima of the cosine will match up with the maxima on the secant. Okay? Also notice that cosine is always between negative 1 and 1, and secant is always from 1 up or from negative infinity up to negative 1. So from negative 1 down for these parts down here, or from 1 up for these parts here for the y's. Notice any time the cosine is 0, then we get undefined, which are vertical asymptotes. So this, this little grid line right here is one of the vertical asymptotes. That's at pi over 2. 3 power 2, 5 power 2. So the domain of secant is all reals except for those places where it's undefined, which is where the vertical asymptotes occur, at the odd multiples of pi over 2. All right, the, um, let's see, what else? The minima occur at when uh, y is 1, and that occurs at multiples of 2 pi, 0 pi, 2 pi, 4 pi, 8 pi, 6 pi, negative 2 pi, negative 4 pi, and so forth. And the minima occur at the odd multiples of pi uh, for x. Uh, pi, uh, 1 pi, 3 pi, 5 pi is off screen, negative pi, negative 3 pi, and so forth. So let's, uh, let's look at some of the summary of uh, secant. Oops, keep the graph up there. Let's just pull the, uh, the summary of some of its properties down here. And we see the domain is all reals except for the odd multiples of pi over 2, which is what this is. So it's the odd multiples of pi over 2. Actually, I probably really shouldn't put that x equals in there. I don't need that. So the odd multiples of power 2 are what it's not. Everything else is what it can be. So the domain is what, it, what you can have for the input. What are allowable inputs? So it's all reals except, take away, the odd multiples of power 2. And once again, if you take n as any integer, multiply by 2, you're going to get an even integer. Add 1, you're going to get an odd integer. Then we're going to take an odd integer times power 2. And notice if you let n be any integer, this gives us all odd multiples of power 2. So the range now is from negative infinity to negative 1, union 1 to infinity. Notice we skip over this part in the middle between negative 1 and 1, but we do include negative 1 at some places and positive 1 at some places. Notice it does have a y-intercept that's right here at 0, 1, but it does not have an x-intercept. It does not have any inflection points. 
Each connected piece is either all concave up or all concave down. The pieces that are above the x-axis where y is positive are all concave up, and the pieces that are below are all concave down. So each piece is connected within itself, but then we have these breaks at the vertical asymptotes. The local maxima occur uh, right here when cosine is at a minimum. And let's see, that should be odd multiples of pi over 2. I mean, odd multiples of pi, excuse me, for x, and then y is negative 1. And those are local maxima. There is no global maximum. It goes up forever and down forever, so no global minimum either. But at the even multiples of pi, uh, right, we get uh, for x, and then y is 1, and those will be the local minimum. No global extrema. Yeah, we already talked about the asymptotes. Now, what about your symmetry? Your symmetry stuff basically is the same as it was for cosine. We have our reflect, a reflective symmetry around the y-axis. That's going to tell us that it's an even function, that secant of minus x is the same thing as secant of x. We're going to have secant of pi minus x is the opposite of secant of x, and secant of pi plus x is also the opposite of secant of x. So basically, once again, if you look at all of these on the symmetry from the unit circle, if you look at the four uh, potential positions for the um, terminal side so that all your reference triangles are congruent, all your reference angles are the same, then um, we will get um, basically one size for all the secants of those four uh, terminal sides those four angles, or those angles that any of the infinitely many angles that have those four terminal sides, but two of them will be positive and two will be negative. So if if they're both in the uh, if they're both in the first either in the same quadrants either first and second, first and first and um, same x's, first and uh, fourth, or second and third, like minus x, then they'll have the same. But if it's first and third or first and second, uh, like that, then there will be opposite signs. And that's basically where we get these uh, relationships here. Uh, also, let me, let me point out something else here. Now, remember when we did um, sine and cosine, we noticed that they were just phase shifts of each other by a distance of pi over 2. Well, remember what's going to happen when we do... Well, I haven't even gotten to uh, cosecant yet, but notice what's going to happen when we get there, sneak preview. Cosecant, it's going to be just shifted over as well. So as one is shifted over, so is the other. We'll pick that up again in our next video.